What's going on? So, I want to talk about real quick salt because there's a great big discussion and I wanted to discuss it. So, some people say salt is terrible and yeah, table salt is actually horrible for you. That white table salt is actually horrible for you because it's chemically processed and whole bunch of other things. Whereas to Himalayan salt, Celtic salt, Red Man salt, any sea salt basically is natural. And I guess celery has is a hybrid, but it works too. And that's a it's pretty much considered salt too in a way. But anyways, what I wanted to say is if you have low stomach acid or if your food's not digesting right, salt's pretty much a cure-all when it comes to that. And you should definitely upgrade your salt and just keep adding some, adding some, you know, just take pinches, put it in your mouth or put it in your water or even on your food. Personally, I don't like salt, especially, I mean, sea salt, but... If it's going to help me, then I'm going to take it. I don't know how long I'm going to take it for. But I just noticed because my electric lights were out of balance. And this will rebalance them. Also, it will get your saliva going and your juices. Salt equals digestion, basically. Hydrochloric acid. Whatever you want to call it. Digestive juices. Salt, Sea salt equals this. So... If you don't have enough, you need more sea salt. Um, you know, I'm experimenting with it. I've used it before, but maybe wasn't using enough or didn't notice. Wasn't using it right. Just not enough, basically. And um, definitely uh, noticed it today, for sure. I tried it again because I keep trying things, and it's definitely a big up. And yeah, I'm gonna continue to do it. But basically, salt also kills off or reduces the bad guys because you never really want to get rid of the bad guys. You basically want to reduce them to some extent. So you don't want to necessarily kill them because they're there for a reason anyway. Fungus, candida, parasites, whatever the problem is, salt rebalance the salt just basically like I said a cure all it reduces the bad things and increases your digestive juices so it's a win-win there's really no loss for it so I would keep adding gradual amounts I don't really know where to start but maybe a fourth of a teaspoon and you could work your way up to anything you want maybe to a whole teaspoon and maybe a couple of day depending on what you need you know I would throw it on your food and also in your water. I mean, I was told this multiple times by different people, online community, and through natural paths, but uh, I did do it, but then I wasn't use, utilizing it right, using enough, and also I didn't like it necessarily, but there's definitely something to it, and it's a plus. So that's all I like to say. If you have any video requests, let me know. This is Fizz. Stay tuned for more vids. Check out some of my other ones. Let me know how you feel. Tell me in the experience box below. And that's about it.